Good morning, everybody. I was asked to put together a quick little video showing how to possibly use an alternative for videotaping when you don't have access to two screens. Um, and so that resource is called Screencastify. Um, and so if you simply go to Google and you type in Screencastify and go to their website, you'll get the opportunity to gain access to this uh, resource. Now, typically this resource is a free resource, but with a limit of five minute videos. So what you'll do is you're going to click add to Chrome on yours, and it'll take you to the extensions. Now for mine, it might look a little bit different because I already have this as an extension, um, but as you do it, mine says remove, but I'm not going to remove it right now. You'll have to click add. And so keep clicking add and apply in the different options for it. And then eventually it'll take you to their website. And um, when they go to the account part, what you're going to have to do is don't click on the free account, click on the paid account. And so when you click on the paid account option, it'll charge you, it'll say like $49.99 or something like that. But um, the company has given you a way to get around that. Um, with the crisis that we're in currently. Um, and so what you do is you click redeem code. And so when you have the redeem code option, over here on this part of the screen, you'll have a part to pay for it. And so you can do redeem code and you'll type in a code to get it and then click add license. Now that code, I'm gonna simply type here so you can see it, is the word cast and then underscore. There we go, underscore, and then COVID. So past COVID will be the code to redeem. And then once you've done it, it'll give you the option to click add license. And so you'll be able to add the license and you'll get to record videos however long you want. Now to use Screencastify, what you'll need to do is you are going to, sometimes you'll have the, extension apps up here. If you don't, you'll come to the dots and you'll click the arrow here. And so I'm currently using Castify to videotape this video. And so you'll click on the dot and it will bring up a prompt for you. Again, the um, and I'll access um, the video um, now it says the video is being recorded currently. Now yours will look like it, but you can click, you'll have options of how you want to videotape it. You can videotape it with your desktop only, with the page that you're looking at, and it will do the same thing. So right now, um, you can have it where it just it doesn't show your face at all. It just shows what's on your screen. And so you can walk through it. Um, the fourth grade team at Valley View used this program yesterday to create our videos. And so it worked out really well to really write on our screen, use our smart notebook files um, to show the kids what's happening. So this is a video that's a lot more like the ones that they're used to with websites like Khan Academy and so on. So this is an option for you. Now, when you click stop, which I can't do quite yet, you're going to be prompted and you'll follow the directions um, to save your video. There's a little tutorial you can go through. Um, but what we did is we clicked the download option. And so that will end up appearing down here in the bottom right of your screen. Click download, save it onto your um, drive like you usually would, or I mean the school shared folder, Share, save it on there. And then you will follow the regular steps to upload a video onto YouTube. But instead of going to your pictures, as we had in the past, you'll go to that folder where you've now saved all your videos. Um, so this is an option to save the videos and record them without having to have that second um, Chromebook or laptop there to videotape what you're doing on a smart board or TV. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I will help you out. This is Dave Peters.